Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a solution for a long-standing problem in generative AI, creating accurate hand images. The project is called Hand Refiner, and as the name suggests, it finds and fixes hands in a given image. We've set up a collab notebook linked below to give this project a spin and see what it does to our less than perfect hand images. To get started, just hit the link in the description, make sure your notebook is set to use a GPU runtime, and kick things off by running the installation step. It takes only a few minutes and once that's done, we're ready to grab the big inpaint model. You've got options here. Upload it to your Google Drive for easy access or run the download step to stash it in a temporary folder. If you choose the drive route, make sure it's linked by running the connect Google Drive step and enter the path to your model into the model path variable in the generate step. You can even use images directly from drive and save outputs to a drive folder, so they don't get lost if the runtime disconnects. But for the first run, temporary storage will do. Don't have AI images yet? No worries. We've covered some easy-to-use apps on this channel. Pick your favorite and let it create a character pulling off a cool hand gesture. We also have a few sample images on the notebook's GitHub repo. To see the app in action, upload an image by dragging and dropping it to the input folder, or anywhere, really. Once it's uploaded, right-click, copy the path, and paste it into the input image field. Quick tip. Press Ctrl plus A or click three times inside the field to replace the text with your image's path. Type in a prompt that briefly describes the image, like, man performing a hand gesture, and we're ready to roll. Once the magic happens, the output image will be saved in an output folder and shown under the output text. If the app fails to locate a hand, it will simply print an error. I've found that it sometimes helps to manually crop the image around the hand, use the cropped image as input, and then paste the fixed output back to the original image using an image editing app. We've got two options for generating hand fixes. The first lets you fix multiple images at once, and the second allows you to repeat the process on the same image with different seeds. Great for giving it a few more chances if one doesn't turn out quite right. Just a heads up, this tool uses Stable Diffusion 1.5 inpainting and works with 512 by 512 images. If your image has a different resolution, it'll be scaled to 512 squared. I'm already hyped to see this tool with SDXL inpainting, and you bet I'll post an update when we find a working solution. I hope you find this useful. It's a solid step towards more realistic AI images. Stay creative, AI wizards, and I'll catch you in the next one.